Hey, fellow shooters. We're back again. This is Doug from Magic Touch Air Gun and Laser Range, where we specialize in dry fire training. Okay, now going what I want to do now is go through all five of the training exercises under basic training. Now, one of the things that I want to show you here is that under each one of the exercises, one, two, three, four, and five, you'll notice there are three placeholders. Those placeholders are there so that after each session, we can type our name in and it will automatically place our name in the first, second, or third ranking of each of the exercises. Now, this is really great if you're doing some type of a competition against others or if you just want to see what your highest score was as you move forward. But one of the things that I want to show you right now is what happens when we shoot our exercise one. So we're going to aim and we're going to shoot exercise one. We're going to choose one player and take a look at what happens. We get a briefing. We get an objective. We are supposed to hit the target as fast as possible. The faster we shoot, the more targets we're going to get. And you'll notice they stack on top of each other and they move from top to bottom or bottom to top. We don't know for sure what. So we're going to hit start. I'm not going to really explain the program. I just want to show you what happens when we have one player. You'll notice that the screen is full. So everything takes place for one shooter. I'm going to exit out of this by escaping. And that will return the menu. I'm going to hit exercise one again. This time I'm going to hit two players. Read the briefing, the objective, and start. You'll notice the screen is divided into two. Shooter one on the left, shooter two on the right. We'll do our shooting from here. AAR comes up. Get our information. Again, I'm going to hit escape at this point. I have to be back at the computer to do this. I'm going to hit main menu. I'm going to shoot exercise one. I'm going to choose three players, get the objective, start by shooting at it, and the screen is now divided into three. So we have three shooters at exactly the same time working. So now we have uh, three shots taking place, and we can now shoot continue. I'm going to go ahead and go to the computer and hit escape, return to main menu. So we will go through one last time to exercise one. We will hit four players, read everything, hit start by shooting at it, and we'll see the screen is divided into four. So I'll go ahead and shoot off four myself. So we've got four shots taking place for four players. I'm going to walk over to the computer. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to hit return to main menu. So what I've just done is given you a basic idea as to what the screen looks like with one to four players. So now let me spend a little bit of time on each one of these five exercises in the training basics and give you an idea of what's happening. So we are going to aim at the exercise one, which we need to shoot above the blue area that says exercise, anywhere in that above area. We shoot, tell it that we want to shoot one player. And again, let's really look at this. The objective is to hit the target as fast as possible. Now, looking at the display, what we'll see is that we have three targets that are variations of stacking top to bottom. I'm looking at it real quick and noticing that it's basically the same target, but it pops up at different positions. So let's hit start by shooting at it and see what happens. All right, program loads. We have three rounds. We're at round one. We have a clock going and start. All right, round one gave me a time of 1.1, a score of 10, and a speed bonus of 4. Shoot it, continue. Round two comes up. Get yourself ready. Clock starts. Okay. 
1.5 on my speed, a score of 10, and a speed bonus of 2. I kind of slowed down a little bit. Let me see if I can speed this next one up. And we shoot it continue. Get ourselves positioned and ready. All right, so I've got a, a time of 0.9. I did increase my time. I got a good score of 10, and I got a speed bonus of 5. I bumped that round up. With a total of 41 points, gives me a score of a sniper. Now, that stuff's really cool. But what I want you to pay close attention to is the AAR target, the after action report target. Look at the three shots. Those shots were all within center, center mass, meaning that I'm doing everything right. I can look at that and I can learn from that. Let me tell you what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to go back to the main menu. I'm going to press on exercise one. I'm going to go to one player. I already know the objective is to hit as many targets as possible. But what I'm going to do this time, after I shoot start, I am going to push my trigger finger in a little bit further than normal, hook my first joint around the trigger. That should cause me to pull my shot low and right or either high and right. Let's see what happens. Okay, there's my AAR, 1.5 on time, a score of 9, and a speed of 2. Second round, let's get ourselves ready. Again, I got my finger pushed in a little too far. All right, time of 1.4, score 9, and a speed uh, bonus of 2. Last round. Finger still hooked in a little bit too far. Okay, so let's take a look and evaluate. Round 1, 1 1.5 time, score of 9, speed of 2. Round 2, 1.4 time, score of 9, bonus 2. For the speed. Third round, 1.2 time, score 9, speed 3. Total of 34, which gives me rifleman. Again, let's go up to the target. Notice that I have three shots that are at about the 5 o'clock position. Now, that is not normal for me. So, I can look at the shot placement, and I can tell myself that something is going wrong. I am putting too many groups in the lower right-hand side, which means that there is either something wrong with the sights on my gun, or there is something wrong with the way I am executing my trigger press, or there's something wrong with the way I'm holding the gun, or there's something wrong with the way I am reacting after I pull the trigger, or maybe even before I pull the trigger. Now, we know that I intentionally stuck my trigger finger in too far and hooked it around the trigger. Well, when I pull, this is going to cause me to bring my gun a little bit to the right and possibly low, and that's exactly what it's showing. So what I'm trying to show you here is we can use that AAR target with the bullet holes in it to tell us something about our shooting. It's there. Use it. All right, let's go to exercise two. Let me explain what happens with exercise two. One person again, we shoot at it. The objective is to hit three targets as fast as possible. Now look at the picture, the little video. It's showing what's going to happen. They're going to be all over the place. They're stacking, and they're even smaller in some cases. So we're going to shoot at the start. Round one, loads and ready to go. Fire. So I got 30 points, a speed of 12. I'll shoot it continue. Round two pops up. <laughs> 30 points, speed of 12. It's the same thing. Let's go again, third round. Let's see if we can be consistent here. All right, those targets were a little bit smaller. I still got a score of 30. Speed bonus dropped to 11. I got 125, which shows me that I'm rifleman. So let us concentrate again on the AAR target, the after-action review target. 
Notice that we've got multiple shots within the black center mass area, but we have some that are low. So again, I can look at this and I can try to do a little evaluation as to what's happening with my targets. I really wish that each one of these would be displayed as a single target because some of the targets were high, some were low, and maybe some of my lower targets are causing me to shoot low, maybe some of the higher targets. You know, right now I really don't know for sure, but it still gives me a pretty good layout. So let's go ahead and aim at return to menu, fire it, and let's go to exercise three. We are going to choose one shooter. The briefing tells us in this case that we need to hit as many approaching targets as possible. Keyword is approaching. That means that they're moving in towards us. Now, I want to tell you something. When we put a shot into the center black area, if you'll listen closely, if I can hit it, you'll hear a steel or a gong sound. That is an indicator to you that you're in center target. If not, it makes a different sound but you'll still get your score at the end. So let's go ahead and aim at start, fire, loading, ready. We're gonna hear the clock start. Okay, center, got it, off shot. You hear the difference? Center shot, made it. Let's try it again, center shot, got it. Center shot, it didn't make it, sorry guys, again. All right, you know, I'm seeing the same thing again. I've got a score of uh, 1,526, a speed bonus of 478, an accuracy bonus of 763, a total score of 2,767, giving me a rifleman rank. But when I look at the AAR report up above, again, I am noticing that my shots are still going low. They are dead center up and down, but I'm shooting low. Now, I'm not exactly sure why. I'm trying to do a video review, which means I'm not focusing and concentrating as much on my shooting skill as possible. But you know what? When it comes time for a live, t live action of using my weapon, everything's not going to be just perfect for me anyway. So this is telling me that I need to do a little bit of work on something here. Again, the information is there. Utilize it. So let's return back to the main menu again. And let's go to exercise four. Let me demonstrate four for you. One shooter again. The briefing is this. We have to hit as many targets as possible without hitting the penalty target. Now, the penalty target is the one with the red X in it. You need to shoot as fast and as accurate as you can. And keep this in mind. There's not just four sets of targets or five. They will come and come and come as long as that clock is ticking. So the faster you shoot them away, the more you have coming at you. So let's shoot it to start. Program loads. Let's get ready. Here comes the clock. One steal. That was better. Nope, ah, didn't get them all that time. Didn't hit them all there either. All right, got them all. And again. Now, what I meant by got them all was I was trying to take a little bit more time and hit dead center for the gong sound. So I've got a score of 2,712, a speed bonus of 351, an accuracy bonus of 1,356, which gives me a total score of 4,419, giving me a ranking of rifleman. But again, I want to look up at the AAR of the target. Notice that I only have two shots that are not in the center black area, but... I'm going to say that one of those shots will still give me the 10 score because it's on the line and more in. And the other one that is about the 630 position, 
That one might be a 10, but it could be out for the 9. Either way, it's telling me that on this particular exercise, I took a little bit more time, focused my shots, and was putting my shots in the dead center area. So again, how about we aim it, return to main menu, we shoot at it, and let us now go to exercise five. We're going to use one player again. And our briefing tells us hit as many targets as possible without hitting the penalty targets. The penalty targets are the red ones. So we want to fire as quick and as accurate as we can. The quicker we shoot, the more targets we get. Aim and fire at start. Program loads. Ready. We should hear the clock start. And we go. All right, keep, keep going. All right, we didn't get to finish that last round out because the timer went out. So even though we had several white targets left, we lost them. So our score, 5,200, speed bonus of 29, accuracy bonus of 2,600, a total score of 7,829, giving me a ranking of rifleman. Now, the one thing that I don't like about this AAR is it does not give me a grouping as to where my shots were. Now, there's a very possible that the reason that is not done is because of the way the targets were laid out. But I really wish they could have taken the extra time to maybe lay each group out in a small format and show you where your shots were. But we got what we got, and um, I'm still happy with what we have here. So let us take the time and aim at return to menu, and that will bring us back to the main menu of exercise 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So once we've done this, we have finished the basic training and we can move on. So I will be back with you in the next part and we'll start looking at the next five.